instance, it is necessary to program a function call in a specific moment. JavaScript has asynchronous I.O. as well as set timeout and set interval. Hello and welcome back guys. Let us say you are a developer who wants to enhance user experience in their website. One of the possible features to include is to schedule a message to be displayed after the users scroll down to the end of the page. JavaScript set timeout function can help you set timeout for the method and impress your website visitors with a new feature. Today you will learn about the JavaScript set timeout method with the help of examples. Let us get started. The set timeout method executes a block of code after the specified time. The method executes the code only once. The commonly used syntax of JavaScript set timeout is set timeout function milliseconds. Its parameters are function, a function containing a block of code, milliseconds, the time after which the function is executed. The set timeout method returns an interval ID which is a positive integer. Let us see an example. In this program, greet function has hello world. The set timeout method calls the greet function after 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds. Hence, the program displays the text hello world only once after 3 seconds. Let us see the output. This message is shown first, hello world. You can see here the greet function executed later. The set timeout method returns the interval ID. For example, here we are storing the set timeout functions ID into interval ID and displaying it. Let us see the output. It is ID colon 3. Hello world. Let us see an interesting example that displays time every 3 seconds. In this example, we are creating a date object, date time, then applying to local time string that returns the current local time and storing it in the variable time. In set timeout, we are passing the arguments show time, which is a callback function, and the time, which will display the time after 3 seconds. Since the function is calling itself, the program displays the time every 3 seconds. Let us see the output. Open the console. Great, now you can see the time is being displayed every 3 seconds. So, this is how we can use the set timeout method. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the clear timeout method in detail. Now, what is the use of this method? Well, as you have seen in the last lecture, the program executes a block of code after the specified time interval. If you want to stop this function, call. You can use the clear timeout method. Let us see the syntax. Clear timeout interval ID. Here, the interval ID is the return value of the set timeout method. And now it's time for the example. In this example, the set timeout method is used to increase the value of count after 3 seconds. However, the clear timeout method stops the function call of the set timeout method. Hence, the count value is not increased. It stops the function by taking the ID of the set timeout function as an argument. Now let us see the output. The message has been displayed. Set timeout is stopped. Well, wasn't that easy? Well, I'm pretty sure that now you have a clear understanding of what the set timeout method is. Today, we are going to learn a similar concept that is called set interval. So without wasting any more time, let us get started. 
the set interval method repeats a block of code at every given timing event. The commonly used syntax of JavaScript set interval is set interval function comma milliseconds. Its parameters are function, a function containing a block of code, milliseconds, the time interval between the execution of the function. The set interval method returns an interval ID, which is a positive integer. Now let us see an example which displays a text every three seconds. In the example, there is a function called greet, which has a message, hello world. The set interval method calls the greet function every 1000 milliseconds or one second. Hence, the program displays the text hello world once every one second. Now let us see the output. You can see hello world is being displayed every one second. Now let us see another example that displays time every five seconds. In this example, we have created a date object, date time. We are storing the local time into the variable time. Set interval show time 5000. This displays the time every five seconds. Let us see the output. Brilliant. So we can see the time being displayed every five seconds when we open the console. So this is how we can use the set interval method. And as I mentioned earlier, the set timeout and set interval are similar concepts, but there is a difference. Set timeout runs the code or function once after the timeout. Set interval runs the code or function repeatedly with the length of the timeout between each repeat. Or in simple words, set interval fires again and again and again in intervals, while set timeout only fires once. Well, I hope now you all have a clear understanding and do not have any confusion between these two. There is another concept called clear interval, which is just like clear timeout. Today, we are going to learn about the clear interval method. So what are we waiting for? Let us get started. As you know, set interval method executes a block of code at every specified time interval. If you want to stop this function call, then you can use the clear interval method. The syntax of clear interval method is clear interval interval ID. Here, the interval ID is the return value of the set interval method. Let us see an example to use the clear interval method. In the example, we are getting the local time with the help of the two local time string and date time object. In the function set interval, we are increasing the count by one. When the count becomes five, the clear interval method fires and the execution stops. The time displays five times. Let us see the output. The time has stopped displaying after five times. So this is how we can use clear interval. Well, that is it for this lecture, guys. And I will meet you all very soon in the next one. Till then, keep practicing and stay safe.